Okay, this is Norm, the amateur machinist. This is my second video for YouTube. And um, I'm going to do a little video today on um, how to advance a spin index uh, when you want to turn something a certain number of degrees when you're working on a milling machine. And uh, where you would do something like that would be like making gears. And uh, so I got my little spindex uh, set up here and there's a gear here that uh, I'm working on a gear blank you can see I've cut a few teeth uh, there and um, I'd, all I'm going to show you today is just uh, how to advance this spin index so in case you're interested in buying one uh, you have a little bit more information uh, to go by and whether or not it, it might do or not do what you want it to do. Well, anyway, this particular gear that I'm cutting here involves having to, every time you cut a tooth, every time you cut a tooth, uh, you have to advance the, um, uh, the gear blank by 15 degrees. And you cut a tooth, then you advance it 15 degrees, you cut a tooth, and you advance it 15 degrees until you've done the, the full circumference of the circle. All right, well, here's how you get 15 degrees. Right now, I got the, the index set at zero, right here. That little arrow is pointing to the zero. It doesn't have to be. You don't have to start there. If you just need to advance 15 degrees, you can start at any of these numbers. But each number represents 10 degrees. So from zero to one would be uh, if you spin like spin that. Let me take this pin out. If you spin it from zero to one, you've gone ten degrees. From one to two, you got another ten degrees and a total of twenty degrees. Two to three, and you've gone thirty degrees. Okay. What you do? I'm going to put it back at zero. And. Notice that this pin goes into some holes here. And when you put the pin through the holes, they come out holes there. So I'll put the pin through the zero. See how it went right in there? I'll pull it out. Now, if you were to advance 10 degrees, What you would do is you would go from the zero, put this, uh, the, have this uh, pin in the zero uh, hole. Advance it a little bit beyond it so that you can push on the pin without it going into a hole on the other side. And then while you're pushing on the pin with your thumb, advance the wheel here. It's hard to do this with one hand. And while you're pushing, now watch, when it hits the one, this uh, pin will uh, pop into a hole. When it pops into a hole, you know that you've gone 10 degrees. Now, if I need to turn it another 5 degrees to cut another tooth, which I do on this particular gear, you take this pin out and you put it, each, the, each of these numbers embossed in the metal represents 1 degree. So 0 to 1 is 1 degree, two to, 1 to 2 is uh, another degree, 2 to 3 is another degree. So to go 5 degrees, I put it in the 5 mark, the five, or the 5 hole. And then while I put pressure on the, uh, uh, with my thumb on this pin, I advance the wheel some more. While putting a little bit of pressure on there, and notice that when it got halfway between the, zero, the 1 and the 2, the, the pin popped in. That means it popped in at 5 degrees. Let's say that I'm at the 0, or the 1. I've advanced 10 degrees from 0 to 1. And I want to go just 13, 3 more degrees for a 13 degree turn. You put it in the 3 hole, push it, and notice how it pushed in sooner. At, 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 three, at, at three degrees past the one, which represents 10 degrees, uh, the uh, three, or the pin 
popped in and represents three degrees of advance from one to uh, towards the two. Take it out. I'm going to go back to 10 degrees again. And I'm going to make sure that it's, that pin goes into zero. One way to tell for sure if you're actually on the uh, 10 degree mark or any of these numbers, put your dial, let's say it's a little off. This pin will not go into the zero hole. But watch what happens when I turn it back just a little bit to get it to the one. And watch my thumb. See? That pin popped in. So you can use your zero number here to make sure that uh, that you are definitely on a 10 degree mark uh, represented by these numbers here, these white numbers. So let's say uh, I've, I've advanced from the zero to one and I've, that means 10 degrees, but I need to go 17 degrees. There's, there's seven more degrees for a 17 degree turn. I put it in the seven hole while putting pressure with my thumb on the pin, I advance the wheel, and notice it popped in there. Notice how this arrow is pointing a little past the halfway mark. That's because it's gone 7 degrees rather than 5. If it just went 5 degrees, it would be right in the middle between the 1 and the 2. So uh, that's how you use this number wheel here, is uh, for your 1 degree increments, and use the white numbers here for your... 10 degree advances. So that's how that works. And give you a little picture here of what I've done so far. So what I have to do for this tooth is when I make a cut here and I need to make the next cut here for the next tooth, I have to advance 15 degrees from one tooth valley to another tooth valley. And you have to keep doing that until you've done full circle. And it's late at night, and I've done half this gear, and I don't feel like doing anymore. I want to get to bed. So uh, uh, I hope that will help you. Uh, spin index. I got the uh, got it from VictorNet.com, and I got the cheapest one. The cheapest one. They say that the, it doesn't. It may not correspond exactly to the tolerances that is specified for the more expensive model. But this least expensive model seems to be doing quite well for me. Oh, and also, when you're, when you're actually cutting teeth, uh, uh, and you're actually cutting the tooth, lock, lock this. That keeps this from spinning. Yeah, the pin is in there, and it won't spin because of the pin. But just to be extra sure, also lock this. And then when you have to advance another 15 degrees, unlock it, put your pin where it needs to be put, and advance the, the wheel. Now, you don't have to grab the wheel like this. I'm doing it because I'm working with one hand here, and I'm holding my phone with the other. But there's a crank back here you can use to turn the wheel. Okay. All right, so... Uh, hopefully that'll be some help to some of you that are uh, thinking about buying a spin index, a spin index PF70-5C, that's the one I got there. Oh, another thing, the, the 5C, um, it takes 5C collets. And uh, and so uh, I'm right now I'm using a collet that's I think it's a three-quarter inch collet. And the way I cut my gears so that I don't have to use... Um, uh, mandrels and, and things like that is I cast my own aluminum into a rod and if I, in this case I'm going to I'm actually making two gears uh, I'm going to it looks like a long gear but I'm going to cut it right about here and then mill the other side uh, once it's cut and then I'll make another cut to cut my second gear so I'm cutting two gears at one time here um, and uh, and then once I cut all this off uh, this goes back into the melting pot, and I make another rod. I'll, I'm going to have videos on how I melt metal and all that later. I'm, I'm going to be doing uh, videos on probably a couple hundred different subjects. So, um, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm tired now. I want to get to bed, and I'm going to 
take this phone and put it in the upload process. Yep. I don't know why it takes uh, so long, but uh, on my videos, when I do a short video, even a four-minute video, it takes five hours to upload my video. So uh, maybe some of you can leave some comments as to why it takes so long. All right. Um, well, yeah. All right. So I'm going to say bye to you now, and um, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.